Citizens of Play City, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking a duck confit, which is going to be duck rendered in its own fat. It's going to be moist and delicious, and then we're going to crisp it up at the end to get those crispy duck cracklings on it. It's about to be banging. Let's go. You can grab a whole duck from the store like I did, or you can just get legs and thighs because they have a lot of fat that renders. Uh, make sure that you wash the duck completely and take out the giblets. Just like a turkey. All right, and also when you cut this duck, you should have two breasts, two wings, leg and thigh, if it's a whole duck. All right, now let's go ahead and season the duck. A lot of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of paprika, that's all it takes. Now you can coat the bottom of the pan with the seasoning and just add each piece of duck in and fully coat it in that salt mixture that we have. Once that's fully coated, go ahead and put it into the refrigerator for at least three hours or overnight. I'm gonna to choose to go overnight and make sure that that seasoning really gets in there. Now, after you're done cutting the duck up, you're gonna have a whole bunch of skin left over. We're gonna render this down to make the fat that we're gonna to use to cook the duck with and also use the fat later in recipes. Into a cold pan, go ahead and take that skin, dump it on in, crank that heat up a bit. All right, you just, you're gonna just let this cook and do its thing. Put a little bit of water in there. We let this do its thing for about 25 to 30 minutes. These skins start to get really crispy. I'm gonna eat these right now because they're delicious, but I'm gonna take this fat, strain it out, use it to cook the duck in later. Uh, try not to spill it everywhere like I did, okay? All right, our duck has been marinating overnight. I gave it a rinse, got some of that salt off, and now I'm gonna just dry it before we start to cook. So after washing this duck, we're going to get a nice deep pan. Uh, if you have a Dutch oven, that'll work. You know, something with a lid. I'm gonna go skin side down. Half a head of garlic that's right down in there, just like that. All right, got some ginger. Just gonna spread that throughout some rosemary and some thyme. So put that on there. Now, this is going to render its own fat, but I'm going to take some of the fat that we got yesterday and just add a little bit of that to it. All right, we're gonna go into a 300 degree oven for two and a half to three hours and just check everything hourly. All right, we're at the final stage here. It's been uh, three hours on 300, and that duck is cooked all the way through, I'm sure. Let's just see if it's nice and far off the bone. Awesome, you get, you get this fork tender. So yeah, it's, it's fork tender, you can I can just take a piece of meat right out, right? I get to do that because I cooked it, all right? <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, carefully take these out with our tongs and I'm gonna put it right onto a baking sheet so we can crisp it up. There's so much fat that is already, you know, cooked through the duck that once you put these into the oven on 425 for 15 minutes just to crisp up, they won't dry out. 
Now, talk about some aromatic duck fat. Oh my goodness. Yo, so save this. Save this. Strain it. Put this away for later. Cook something else with it. Now, y'all probably thought I was bugging when I grabbed this big container before, but look how much duck fat rendered off of just one duck. So, that's 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 a pretty large jar right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Crispy duck. Look at those crispy cracklings on it. Looks amazing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Now at this point, you just want to take your favorite salad. I have a nice arugula salad right here. Take one of those thighs. Dali. Hey, da, da. We'll go right on top of that bad boy. Oh, my goodness. Yep. And there you have it. Duck confit. Enjoy.